over 40 years, our next guest has played the very wealthy Nikki Newman on The Young and the Restless. But her new memoir reveals a shocking childhood far different from her glamorous character. Please welcome to our home the author of Always Young and Restless, Melody Thomas Scott. Welcome, Melody. We are so excited so to see you. We're having a little Great bit of a love fest. Great, Great to see, see you. All. you. Well, I mean, you know, the soap world's a small world. Yes, and it cross is. paths many times, you know. time Emmys and such, yeah. And our very own Kim Douglas. That's right. Melody worked with Jerry Douglas for so many exactly. years. Kim, where are you? She's <laughs> here. <laughs> You'll see somewhere. her in just a few <laughs> minutes. So you have played Nikki for over 40 years. Yeah. My goodness, what an accomplishment that is. Even just saying that, you know, most shows don't even go more than 10 years. How has Nikki changed, would you say, since you started playing her in your 20s? Oh my goodness. Um, well, I was 22. You were 22. And um, when I came on, she was a girl from the wrong side of the tracks, bad attitude, you know, sassy and just obnoxious. <laughs> um, and I played it beautifully. <laughs> no. And of course, over the years, she got into a lot of mischief, met a lot of men, married very well 12 times, but oh, is wow. on her fourth marriage to Victor Newman. And okay. that, of course, is the big one. They say that's the one. Yeah, that, yeah. that's the I mean, one. 12 times. <laughs> that's the magic you know, That's one. what it is. You've really had to come up, huh? So, yeah, I mean, now <laughs> she's the lady of the manor and has all the money and a, a power and everything in the world. So it's it, just a complete turnaround for her life. And how fun that must be for you to be able to play her in such different aspects of her life. It really is. And I think that's part of why people say, well, how can you be on a show for so many years? Don't you get bored? Well, but Nikki has so many interesting storylines, and it's almost like playing a different character under the guise of one. I mean, that's kind of the beauty of I completely for the agree. Actors. I mean, 14 years was a long time, I thought, but no 40 years, but that's the idea for sure. You yeah. get through, your character goes through all right. these ups and downs and different storylines for sure. And actually, your 40th anniversary on the show coincided with Nikki's conviction uh, for murder. Oh, yes. And we've got a great clip I want, every, I want to show everybody. You're in, you're in prison, you're writing a very personal letter to your grandchildren, so let's take a look at that. Okay. Victor is the love of my life. Always has been, always will be. But he's not the only man I've loved. And he's sure not the only one I married. My full name is Nikki Reed Foster Bancroft Newman Abbott. Landers, Newman, Chow, Sharp, Abbott, Newman. <sighs> Granted, some of those vows never should have been exchanged, but when it comes to for better, for worse, I've had more than my share of better. Starting with Jack Abbott. I think it's safe now to say we weren't meant to be, romantically speaking. Still, I cherish him and his unwavering friendship. Do not forget, you are not alone. You have family and friends in this town who love you, who would do anything for you, who want only the best for you. I will never forget that. I mean, it could go on and on, couldn't it? Oh, Just, like, your memory. Yeah, yeah, yes, I course. love Nikki. I love well, the, how she was m naming all the husbands. That yeah, is thank the best. goodness it was written down, or I would never have come up in the right order with all those names. But, um, you know, it is such a blessing as an actor to not just be on a show that has been on that long, but to have an, a job as an actor for almost 42 I mean, years is just unbelievable. How, how many people, so how blessed. many actors out there can say that? I mean, it's not really many. remarkable. Now, we want to get, get to your memoir as well, because of course, Nikki is one of Genoa City's wealthiest ladies for sure, but in your new memoir, uh, you reveal that your childhood was anything but glamorous, to say the least. So tell us a little bit about it. Well, yes, uh, you are absolutely right. Um, I was raised by my grandmother. Um, she got me in this business at the age of three, although I was a very willing participant. I enjoyed it, I wanted to perform. But uh, went through a lot of adversity and trauma as a child and uh, very unusual circumstances, uh, the least of which was I was raised in a hoarding household. And ironically, uh, being a child actress, is what got me through it. That's what gave me hope because I knew I was not living the life of a normal little girl, but I knew I could go to a studio and play the part of a little a normal little girl. And that, that became everything for me, was to just keep going on those auditions and keep getting jobs because then I can come out of my crazy house and play normal. That must have been so cathartic for you, but also I imagine, I mean, just listen to you say that, a little bit heartbreaking 
what, re, like reliving, saying yeah. I was just a little girl. Yeah, it, it was tough, it was hard. But and actually that's why I wrote the book. I wasn't gonna write some fluffy little book about my TV show. Right. You know, that's nice, but that was not what was really, you know, drive, the driving force in wanting to write the book. I thought if I can help others out yeah. there going through any type of adversity, it's worth it. Exactly. So that was really why. Yeah. And already so many people have contacted yeah. me. For sure, and despite all those challenges you had, as a young girl, you managed to work with literally some of the greatest in the business of all time, legends. Yes. Uh, Alfred Hitchcock, Clint Eastwood. Not a lot of people can say that. That's pretty cool, Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> I know you cross paths with many big names in the entertainment business for sure. We got a photo of you and Aretha Franklin on the oh. carpet, I think, at the uh, the Daytime Emmy Awards. And um, there's there. a lot more going on in the photo <laughs> <laughs> than just like posing for a picture. Tell yeah. us a little story behind oh this Oh my photo. gosh, I'll try to tell it quickly. Um, 1980, I'd been on the show maybe a year. And um, I was coming home, I would often go to my neighborhood newsstand to buy my trash on the way home from work. And it had been a very long, tiring day for me and I was just cranky and not in the mood for chattiness. It happens. So uh, I did notice that there is a woman a few feet down from me at the newsstand and you learn, uh, you know this Cameron, you, you kind of learn the signs of, oh, that person recognizes me and they're <laughs> going to come up. And I'm thinking this and I thought, oh no, not now because I'm just too, too tired. But sure enough, she comes and taps me on the shoulder and I just kind of spun around, not very nice because <laughs> I was just impatient and tired. And she said, excuse oh. me, very sweet. Excuse me, do you play Nikki on The Young and the Restless? And I, yes, yes, yes. I was just awful. Oh. And uh, she puts her hand out to me and says, Aretha Franklin, my pleasure. And oh my, oh goodness. my goodness, I I woke up. I wasn't tired anymore, and oh, I just yeah. said, "Oh my goodness, no, it's my pleasure. I'm so, uh, you know, I'm such a fan. You know, nice to meet you." Blah blah. blah. And she was having none of that. She just kind of gave me a stink eye and walked away. 30 years later, we're in New York City for the Emmys and the press see us out on the red carpet and they don't know about our history and they're saying, hey, let's get Mel and Aretha together in a two shot. Oh, no. So they bring us together and we're both smiling for the cameras and Aretha starts, she says, mm-hmm, I remember you that night at the newsstand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm going, oh yes, and again, I am so, so sorry, Aretha. <laughs> well, we're having this conversation, the photographers had no idea. And she still, all these years later, was not going to forgive me. And she finally flounced off. She said, where's Victor? I want my picture made with him. You know what? Never diss the Queen of Soul, I'm no, telling you. That's it, right. Or anyone for that matter. That's, that's, that's what, a good the lesson universe, for me. That's right. The universe <laughs> always happens to have a way to keep us in check. Mm -hmm. That one time, and you'll be like, oh, I should have done that. Yeah, that's, right. that's the truth. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Oh, my love gosh, it's so fast. I have to come fantastic. back. Thank you so yes, much. Always Young and Restless is available wherever books are sold.